Hi, I'm Josh with Three Pedals. This is our 1989 Pontiac Safari station wagon. We call it shaken and stirred. One of the reasons we call it that is because of the shaker hood scoop we added. We wanted to do something to pay tribute to the classic Pontiacs we love. The wagon is mostly stock on the outside. The real action happens underneath and inside. We installed an LS3 from a 2010 Camaro. We rebuilt it with a Master Motorsports cam. It puts out 500 horsepower. We've had it dyno a couple times and it's pretty consistent at 500 at the flywheel. Uh, we've got a Tremec T56 Magnum six-speed manual, of course, because they're three pedals. And the shaker scoop, we're never really done with fabricating the scoop, unfortunately, but it is a functional uh, shaker air scoop. You'll see the openings in the back. One of my favorite features of the car are the wheels. They're made by a company called Deluxe Wheels. They're 20 inch wheels uh, and they take a 15 inch hubcap. And they look like steelies when you don't have a hubcap. And by the way, when we're at home driving the car, we don't have any stickers on other than the wood grain sticker. We keep the wood grain sticker, but all the other stickers come off at home. It's just for shows. We do keep the Wally World sticker, of course. Back here, it's got, uh, you can fold everything flat or you can put some kids back here. When the kids are back here, they can smoke as well. There's an ashtray for them. Inside the car, we left things pretty stock. The car is re really, really complete. Um, the big changes we did were a Nardi steering wheel and uh, we did uh, custom speed hut gauges and a custom panel to hold it all. And we managed to fit it all in behind the stock cover. Um, inside, of course, we've got the six-speed manual, new carpet, some Lloyd's logo mats, and that's about it on the inside. So with these speed hut gauges, uh, the main thing we needed when converting to a manual, of course, we needed a tachometer. Uh, and really for the design, we had, we're working on a 1987 Porsche 911, and I've always loved the design of the gauges. And the 911, a lot of Porsches put the tack front and center instead of the speedometer front and center. Uh, so giant tack front and center was the key little baby speedometer because that's not really the point. And then we combined oil temperature and oil pressure, fuel pressure and fuel level, and uh, water temp and volts. And we made a number of customizations and that was really my favorite part of working. Actually, one of my two favorite parts of working with the speed hunt gauges were, were the customizations, how easy they were to make, how affordable they were to make, and really dialed in to make it exactly what we wanted. Uh, the other thing I really like you don't see from here is the mounting depth of gauges is about an inch. So they're really easy to install. Uh, a lot of the older gauges that are like three, three and a half inches deep, it's really hard to retrofit them sometimes because there's just no room behind the gauges. Some of the customizations we made include combining different gauges. So I wanted oil temp and oil pressure together into one gauge. Uh, we also simplified the, the font on the face, just lightened it up a little bit, a little less text. Along with the TFD6 Magnum six-speed manual transmission, we installed an Exidy twin disc semi-metallic clutch and it's been holding up great. Underneath we've got full coilover suspension all around, uh, Corvette disc brakes all around. And now we'll start the car up because you asked nicely. Too much fun.